What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Super Fina. Today, we are reacting to the world's finest assassin. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the world's finest assassin, episode 10. Mm -hmm. It's 10 time, baby! Two more episodes until the end of the season. The ocean? Already? Well, dang, they look like they're having a lot of fun. And he looks like his age. Like he's having fun, he's smiling. Is this Tart's dream? Or is he acting? Oh, he's not acting. What are they doing over there? Perfect place to practice magic. Ocean currents and wind direction. Yeah, what happened? Divine treasure? Yeah, what's a divine treasure? Can't be made by human hands. What's oh, a spear for Tart? Oh, the hero. Negotiations? What are you negotiating with? Oh, Dia is involved with the Civil War! First of dates. Bruh, everything's getting connected. The Beer, the dude, the hero, Dia. He seems so playful. All right, so the first of dates, is this the first time he started visiting her? I'm confused. Either she is oblivious of what's going on. Or people are hiding information from her. I 
How would you defeat the hero then? <gasps> yes, save your woman. Save your number one woman. Yeah, yeah. No, dear. So what you gonna do? Okay, she's doing a strong front right now. And it's annoying me. Changing the subject. This is cute, but it kind of feels like she's doing her last hurrah thing before she sacrifices her life. Is she wearing lipstick? Oh, is she wearing his cosmetics? Wait, he's... He's lotion. Not lipstick. Where is he? Like lip balm. Oh, he knows his cuisine. He knows where to eat. <laughs> Detect their blood lost. Militia men. Huh. Well, Dia, with all of the magic she's acquired through experimenting with Luke, she should be a powerhouse, right? What if she showcases her power? And then she gets kidnapped. Because they're like, ooh, she's a great weapon. Or, oh no, she's a threat. No, <sighs> she's like, use your mana, it's cheating. Girl, just get your prize. Uh. Is it like she knows that sometimes it's no fun taking the easy route using magic? Sometimes you need to challenge yourself without magic. And you miss. Look how sad you are because you're not using magic. If you use magic, you wouldn't miss. Oh, look at that. You missed again. Well, I say you cheated because you used Luke. He coached you through that. I'm just saying, if you were by yourself, you wouldn't have won that prize whatever's.
Is it just me or is Luke a lot more human in this episode? Like he's showing a lot more emotions. Oh, last time, wasn't it 25 years earlier? Now it's 20 years. Is she a coach? Is she a teacher? World's finest teacher. Teach the hero? Teach the hero what? I hope she gets reincarnated into something normal. Preservation System Administrator. Wait, 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 why did she sound like a computer? She's not the only administrator, she had a number. What the heck? It's like the hero is defective. Like he was contaminated by a virus. He's like a, a virus in the system. Make me thinking of some spider, so what? I'd rather eat something you made for us together. If you run away with him, wouldn't you be going to Tuahade? Huh? Run away with him. Abandon your responsibilities as a noble of this land. I wonder what her reaction would be when she finds out he's been visiting brothels. Oh, I lost child. The kid's actually talking to the bear. You have to put that bear really close to that kid's face so the kid just focuses on the bear. Oh! A detecting spell? That's cool. That was such a friendly smile. I feel all kinds of things. Bye, cute little kid. I hope you survived this civil war. Oh, I want you to remember this time together fondly. He only did that for you, Dia. He didn't do that out of goodness of his heart. He only did it to make you happy. Hot spring. You've always wanted to come here with him? 
Are you both going to get naked? What do you mean, why? You reserved the whole place? When did, when did you do this? Yes, react to her getting naked. React. Does she not see him as a man? Wow! A hot spring with nature. That looks so relaxing. Yeah, like a lagoon. <gasps> Dear girl, you need to step up your game. You got two girls at his place that want to do him. You're over here, lying naked, next to him, doing nothing. Oh, wait. You're holding hands. Would you say this is like a platonic relationship? Or they, they just fell into something comfortable? You know, like where couples, they just get to a point where they... They don't have, they don't need passion. They just, they just enjoy each other's company. Or this is just a scene where we see all this dialogue and learn about what's going on. Look, they're talking about the war. While I'll be naked in the hot spring. Talking about her dad. Yeah, that would totally kill the mood. Talking about your dad. Yeah. Aw, he says I'll keep things ready for you. What kind of scene is this? Oh! <gasps> Okay. Are they going to become one? Are they alluding to it? Will it be up to our interpretation to know what happened in that water that supposedly is really deep? <laughs> Look, she hesitated to say something. It means she wants to say something, but she's like, no, I got to hold back. And she's saying, we'll see each other again. But in her head, she's like, I'm never going to see you again. I bet Lou knows what's going on. It's like, Thea, you can't fool me. When you need me, I'll be there. Did she reserve the whole town? See, goodbye, Luke, and she's crying.
Wait, this is an A. And on the next episode, this is an actual scene. Bruh, I almost missed this. I usually skip this part. Who's that? He's hired us to do a job? What? Assassinate Dia? Uh-uh, he ain't gonna do that. Nope. Well, that was... A cliffhanger, if I saw one. Okay. So, is that why she was like, bye, Luke? You know, doing that farewell. That, that, we, that farewell that we totally saw coming. Because, you know, there's lines. And there's just things that she was doing uncharacteristically. And she's, we saw the signs. But now, it was followed up with, oh, your next mission is to assassinate Dia. Probably because she's destroying people and they want to take her out of the equation, right? Right. So if it's just to take her out of the equation, he doesn't have to assassinate her. He could just take her out. You know, maybe he'll fake her death. I don't know how that's going to work. I, like, are they going to act like they're fighting each other? And this is episode 10. Right now, I'm focusing on Dia, and I forgot about the hero. Shame on me. But besides that, what do you think about this episode? And what do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Supervina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where I talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua. And this is the Superfina channel reacting to the world's finest assassin episode 10. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Laters!